Hi everyone, this is Akini. Um, I'm back with a video to discuss family and other people that we value in our lives um, and how we allow them to treat us. Hold on one second. Look at my next mode of action here. How I want to do this. <laughs> my next move. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, so I'm getting my child ready for school, so it's stuff all over my house, so y'all just forget for that. Um, I'm going to start right here. Got my life together. <clears throat> so, um, I've noticed um, a stark difference between myself and other people regarding how we handle relationships with people that we consider to be um, valuable to us, such as like friends, family. Boyfriend, girlfriend, things like that. And what I've noticed is we give these people such a long stick. Like we give them so much rope to disrespect us and to talk to us crazy and to do things that we wouldn't allow everyone else to do. Um, I have a different type of opinion about that kind of stuff. So i give you an example. I have a friend. I told her I was going to do this video. Um, I have a friend who, she has a few family members that are really um, disrespectful for her. And, it, I'm, you know, this, it, the disrespect is kind of off the chain. It's kind of like shady comments and things like that. And, um, you know, a lot of times, you know, my sister is like, well, that's my so-and-so, or that's my uncle, that's my aunt, this is my grandmother, this is my mom, or whatever the relation is. So I don't say nothing. Let me stop you right there. I honor my mother because I came out of her womb. I honor my grandmother because I came, you know, she's the womb that created the womb that I came out of. And I have so much respect for them. Um, I honor my other elders in my family, such as my aunts and my uncles and things like that. Um, and I respect, you know, other elders that I have in my life. But just because they're a family does not mean that they get to be disrespectful towards you. Um, if you look at it, I know from my perspective, I feel... In that case, if you, since you're my mother, in that case, since you're my aunt, in that case, since you're my best friend or my boyfriend, you should be more respectful to me than strangers on the street. So if my family members treat me less than people on the street, I treat them like people on the street. That's the kind of person I am. I'm a Scorpio. I don't play. Um, I don't have time to play. I'm very serious for the most part. Um... And I'm very cutthroat. And I'm very black and white as far as like my opinions about stuff. Either I'm here or I'm there. I don't really do a lot of gray area. So if you're disrespectful, my mind doesn't read cold, but <laughs> do not cuss her out. I don't, my mind does not work like that. It don't. I'm sorry. And what I've learned <laughs> is not that you have to curse out your family members. Okay? I mean, I'm not saying to do that. No, you don't have to be like me. But what I'm saying is, they're your family. So if anything, they should be more respectful towards you. So in the event that they are disrespectful towards you, what that means is they're taking you for granted. And they don't value you the way they should be valuing you. So what I tend to do is, if I don't, even if I don't curse nobody out, I remove myself from the situation. Oh, okay. So you're my aunt and you want to talk to me stupid, your number's blocked. And so further, until you until you can find a way to contact me and apologize, I'm not dealing with you because I don't like I don't like the way you're talking to me. Um, if you're my father and you know you're talking to me stupid, okay, um, I'll talk to you at a later date when you find um, a better way to, to communicate with me. Period and point blank. Like there's no you don't you don't get no second chances. Ain't no second chances 
none of that. Ain't no sorry. I don't I don't believe in that. I'm very unforgiving. Um, for the most part. Uh, but if somebody does apologize to me, I will consider it depending on the nature of the thing they do. Uh, I have had a family member attack me. Okay. Um there was it was over I want to say it was about two years before I talked to her again. Two years. And she needs to be happy that I did that. Um, because I don't, I don't know. Um, so that was really my, that's really my point. Like, I don't care if it's family, friends, nobody. Don't allow people to disrespect you. Stop making that, stop making the excuse that, oh, that's my sister. So I'm going to let her. No. No, you don't get to talk to me crazy because you're my sister. You need to be nice to me because you're my sister. Now, there's something that you need to tell me that is kind of raw and real, that's fine. You know, if you have to get tell me, hey, you know, your husband's cheating on you. Okay, that's fine. We can talk. But to talk to me in a poor way, to be disrespectful toward me, to belittle me, to embarrass me, I actually feel bad for you at, at some point because I'm going to get in that ass. Okay? And I don't care about no family, nothing. You will not talk to me disrespectfully. And I think that more people need to... Um, get that oil fire in their life like and stop letting people talk to you like they like they like they like you like they need like you need them it seems like that's a common thing with people they think that you need them um no um i was born a single birth i don't need nobody okay period um want people is a different thing but as far as need um i can take care of myself um so that's really the point I was trying to make. Don't let people disrespect you. There's no reason to um, value yourself enough to walk away from relationships and friendships and even family ships. <laughs> family relationships. I call them family ships. You know, send them off into the ocean. You know, send them ships off. Don't nobody got time to be being disrespected. Especially if it's on a regular basis, too. No. I'm not dealing with that at all. Um, I'm not dealing with it. So I hope you all are able to apply this to your lives and demand the respect that you deserve. Um, and you'll see a great, vast difference in how people treat you when you start laying down the law.